them to none? Look, are those the best odds that a public defender can offer? Five years? For changing a couple words in a 20-year-old diary? I, well, I know. I know I didn't act alone. That's the point. My ex-wife is just as involved in this as I am, and she got off scot-free. I know. Just look. Thanks a bunch. Get me a double scotch. Twice. 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 That's what I said. Twice. Been looking for you. And so are a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. Looks like Karja is not the only guy you owe. Most of those bills say final notice. Uh, something for your uh, friend? He's not my friend, and he's not stay. <sighs> Just don't get too wasted, David. RJ needs you at the club. What for? See, the janitor is out sick, and he needs you to cover. <laughs> Let's get something straight. I was hired as maitre d'. Janitor was not on the list of duties. <laughs> no, you see, you were hired to work for RJ. That means you'll do whatever he wants, whenever he wants. You know something? You should have stuck to that rich wife you had. Well, the glass isn't far enough, so I think everything is okay. Exactly. It takes like a good care of things. Why? The other bidders for the diner will only work it tomorrow. If I don't agree to so by then, they say no deal. Right. I know you've been working so hard to get your financing, but if you cannot offer me a deal by tomorrow, I have to go with the other buyers. Lo siento. Vig isn't gonna walk in on He's gonna do it for an hour. We can neck with impunity. Mm -hmm. This isn't the way you thank just anyone for helping you out in the case, is it? Oh. No, no, honey, no. It's just those that go that extra mile, you know, and that list of names that you came up with for me of the possible uh, assassination targets that might be connected to the uh, peace movement in Ireland. You know what? Mm. That could be the break I need. Mm. Problem is, what? the list is very long, and March 1st is only 29 days away. Yeah, but according to that coded message that was in the sheet music, all I have to do is locate three people. Neptune, Atlantis, Poseidon. Whoever they are. Whoever. Do you think Lord Crow could be one of them? Maybe. He's an old friend of Ace's. You know, some Ace has been acting real funny lately, too. He's involved in some kind of a deal, and he doesn't want anybody to know anything about it. Atlantis? Yeah, I got back home safe and sound. 
the deal went off without a hitch, the money is well placed. And that is that. Neptune, out. Neptune? Hey, so what are you up to now? Guys ready to be roommates yet? Wow, well, I've really never been inside a country club before. I know this is probably old hat for you guys, but this is really kicking the head for me. <laughs> so why don't you uh, just go to Uncle Bo's house and tell him to get a son back? Yeah, then you can be a regular here like the rest of us. Um, just not ready yet. That's all. Why not? Well, uh, you... Drew is uh, waiting for the right moment. He doesn't want anybody, especially anybody named Buchanan. No, he's in town yet. So keep your mouth shut. Yeah, I got that much, Kelly. But what I'm saying is that Uncle Bo is really cool, and I'm sure he'd be ec ecstatic to see you under any circumstances. There's just no need for this whole top secret operation. Well, it's Drew not just really. just wants to feel more settled in town. Look, which is why him moving in with you is perfect, okay? For Drew, I mean. You guys are cousins. And it's a safe bet that Drew is a lot neater than I ever was. Well, that's not saying much, Kelly, but once Kevin gets back from hey, Europe, we're going to have really, to... Oh, wait. It's no big deal, really. Wait, 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 wait. I know what this is about. This is about Dorian. You know, don't assume that every time something doesn't go not your way... It's not too cool to have a roommate uh, over when you have Dorian sitting at the carriage house. This has nothing to do with Dorian. Dorian? Weird name. Isn't that Cassie's mother's name? Thank you. My mind, don't we look rested? You might have something to do with the fact that that is the best looking haircut I've ever seen in my entire life. No, yours is. True. David, I thought they cut you off from this club months ago. You ought to be a lot nicer to me. I'm really turning over a new leaf. And in answer to your question, I can still wrestle up a guest pass from a few pals. <laughs> I shudder to think who those pals are. Go away. I don't want to talk to you. Nor I to you, Gumdrop. However, I do not have the means to permanently extricate myself from your life yet. You want me to give you those means? Well, I thought, you know, due to your generous nature and a few fond memories. You have such gall. Well... You help me out, you need never lay eyes on me again. The justice system is going to see to it that I never lay eyes on you uh -huh. again. And they're going to do it for free. Mm -hmm. They're going to put you in prison for years, and they won't ask me for one penny. You are so insensitive. I'm surprised. You have a short memory. Well, I thought after your blissful little reunion with Mighty Joe Young, you'd have softened up a little bit, but I can see that's not the case, so I'm very sorry. Get out, or I'm going to have the management throw you out. Has Joe grown weary of your worldliness already? Oh, God. Has he moved on to pastures that are more tender, greener, younger? So, oh, Cordero, how long have you been listening to my private phone calls? Maybe you shouldn't take private phone calls in my office. It's funny, Ace, I never figured you for a Neptune, though. What's going on? Cordero, you seem to be getting a certain air of cynicism and disrespect. And I like it. It's about time, too. <laughs> well, I appreciate the flattery, Asa, but uh, who's Atlantis? What's going on? What is some game you got going with Alex or something? <laughs> uh, nothing gets by you, does it, Cordero? How do things work out in Boston? Very well, actually. You closing all the properties we talked about? Sure did. Hmm? Hi, Mr. Buchanan. Hi. Cord, I've got the Boston report here for you. Oh, no kidding. Uh, please. Hmm. Very nice timing. I'm impressed. Natasha, it's the lock. Start the legal work. I did, sir. <laughs> you did? 
did good, Cordero. Learn from the best. You did teach me everything you know, right? But uh, you could have got the waterfront for a lot less. What are you talking about? I paid less than they were asking for. They'd have lowered the price. For example, Ray Williamson. I happen to know that he's in deep trouble with the Internal Revenue folk. Oh, you wanted me to blackmail him. I'm sorry. You know, when you brought me in to be CEO of Buchanan Enterprises, I just naturally assumed that you wanted me to maintain that reputation for square dealing and fair play that you've always enjoyed. Well, I'm just saying, Gord, if you want to get on top and stay on top, you got to get a little dirty sometimes. Now, if you really want something bad enough, you got to compromise square dealing to get it. The art of dealing is not for the faint-hearted. Just a few more days. What if I wait and you don't get the money? They buy us back out. How do we buy our house in Florida then? I'm sorry. I can't take that chance. it means to you to get this place back. It was your dream, too. And now it's gone. Just like every other dream I ever had. The only time a dream disappears is when you take your eyes off. Yeah, well, sometimes I got to so I could see where I'm going. Maybe... Maybe you haven't looked at all the ways there are to make this dream real, huh? Like your boyfriend, Clint Buchanan, and all his money. We should be grateful to have a kind and generous man like that to call among our friends. No, he's your friend. And I refuse to be one of his charity cases. Uh -huh. No one in my family is going to be. He does not think of us as a charity case. He's only trying to help. And he may be the only chance that you have if you really want what you say you want. I need to die before I take one dime from him. Things even your money can't buy, Dorian. Really, why do you hold on to your money so tightly? Does it keep you warm at night? You'll never know. Well, you know, I just, I just wonder how much comfort can that money be if you've got nobody to share it with? I share it with my family. Oh, right. Family. It's ironic, isn't it? You do everything you can to get <laughs> Kelly away from me, and then you lose Joe to Kelly. I would gladly sacrifice anything to keep my niece away from a filthy, slime like you. Hmm. Zoe, if Dorian and you are an item, then uh, why are you sitting here with us and, and she's over there with that uh, good-looking tall guy? That is Dorian's ex-husband, my ex-creep, the one I told you about. Oh. <clears throat> well, then who's this other guy you're stuck on? What other guy? Why don't you go save Aunt Dorian from King Rat before he gives her fleas or rabies of the plague or something? <laughs> Go. Drew and I'll be just fine. Go. I think I'll leave you alone to serve sucker punch. I'm tired of getting hit in the face. Is he bothering you, Dorian? David doesn't have enough substance to bother me. I had to drag you away from your fun. I guess you took care of your registration at the university, huh? Uh, I ran into Kelly by accident, and it just so no, happened uh, that she... Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I just realized I have to hurry home, and I'm going to call my uh, chauffeur to pick me up. You don't have to do that. I'll, I'll, I'll drive you. Oh. No, no, no. That's not... I said I'll drive you. you. Let me go say goodbye to Kelly and her friend. Well, I'm going to run over and talk to Ace about his old buddy, uh, Lord Cove, and then I will call you just as soon as I have some progress to report, okay? Uh, Jill said to just come on. Sorry, I'll wait outside. No, no, no. Andy, no, come on. Come on, it's okay. I'm just on my way out anyway. Okay. I'll see you, honey. Studying hard for that sergeant's exam? I'll try not to embarrass you, Commissioner. Never thought you would, kid. Uh, Ventura.
Tony will be here soon. You want to have a cup of coffee with me? Well, actually, I just came by to give you this. What? It's the last payment plus interest for representing me. I don't charge interest, No, Andy. please. I mean, you charge so little anyhow, and I'm just sorry it took so long to get the bill settled. Even though they reinstated me with back pay, it took them forever to cut a check. You don't want to wait. Let's wait. No way. But thanks. Well, I'm glad you're back on the fourth. A lot of times it's not very easy, especially in a case like yours. Even if you're cleared, you consider myself really lucky. Not everybody gets a break like I did. Like, for example, Antonio. He's worked so hard to turn his life around. His prison record just keeps slamming doors in his face. And the worst part is I can see him wanting to change his life and I can feel how frustrated he is, but my empathy's not gonna get a bank loan for him. I can't help him no matter what I do. Look, I gotta get to work. I'm sorry. Okay. Getting this diner back uh, was supposed to bring us together again, not tear us apart. Uh, it's going to take more than just this little quarrel to tear us apart again, Antonio. You know, it was, um, it wasn't just um, getting the diner back. It was trying to fix what, what I broke. Before the gangs in Statesville. Poor Papi died. <clears throat> you know, when... When they offered me early release so I could help with the guns in Angel Square, I, I looked at it as a second chance, you know? But now I know I can never bring him back again. Not I can you. never make that okay. It's not for you to do. I know. He's gone because of me because of the stupid choices that I made. Oh, please, please, don't say that. It's enough to break my heart. See, when I try to fix things... You don't try to fix every wrong in the world that ever happened since you've been in the world. It's not for you to do, Louis. I just wanted to give you a, a piece of that life back again. And you were so happy. It's really important that I do it on my own. Nobody can do everything alone. Look, I'm not taking a loan from Clint. He can. Take a moment. anything to keep my niece away from a filthy piece of slime like you. Well, maybe you'll get a chance to make that sacrifice after all. Your Aunt Sex still has a major thing for you, you know? Yeah. I guess I had that effect on them. But 
Honestly, I don't know what I ever saw in him. I mean, besides his looks, I mean, he is transparently shallow. I am through wasting my time with lounge lizards like David Vickers. Yeah, but you're not bitter. I learned I want something more. I want something more meaningful. I want to be able to count on someone to be there. That sounds like uh, Joy Buchanan to me. Well, thank you so much for driving me home. I know you have a lot to do. Yeah. But there's something we need to talk about. Something that's very important to both of us. What's that? Do you remember how we were talking about in Bermuda? The possibility of you are moving in with me again? Uh, yeah, funny you should mention that. I've been thinking about it, and um, my mom's going through some pretty intense therapy, and I think I should at least stay close. You know, the carriage house. We can still see each other, just probably not as often when the class is starting sure, again. Sure, it's all right. It's as clear to me as it is to you. What's that? That what we have, what's between us, is over. I can understand Antonio being too proud to accept help. I even admire it. It's just, this time it's hurting him. Getting the diner back means more to him than anything. He'd just as soon give up all hope of financing it before he'd take Clint Buchanan up on his offer. Clint offered to loan him the money? Or to guarantee a mortgage with the bank, whichever Antonio felt more comfortable with. And Antonio turned him down? He misunderstood Clint's motives. He thinks that he's just a wealthy man from West Landview who thinks of him as a charity case or something. Oh. Nobody who sees Antonio thinks of him that way. One look at the man and you can tell that he's smart, enterprising, and hell-bound to success. Oh, I wish he could hear you say that to his face so that he didn't think that we were all trying to pull something behind his back. Uh, then why are you talking behind my back? Hey, Bo, come on in. Thanks, Natasha. Mr. Peterson is here. Great. Uh, have him wait a few minutes. I'll be right with him. Couldn't find Pa in his office. I thought maybe he was uh, up here with you. Well, he's going to be around soon. I'm sure he was here a little while ago. Something I can help you with? Well, it'd probably be a lot easier to uh, talk to you than it would be to get information out of Ace of these days. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. Do uh, you want some coffee? Uh, no, thanks. Yeah, I tell you, when he brought me on to be his right-hand man, I just naturally assumed that that meant that I would know what the left hand was doing. I guess not. You know, I, I think I knew more about what Ace was up to when I was on the outside than I do now that I'm on the inside. You notice him doing anything strange lately? Lately? I don't know that I've seen him do a whole lot that's normal. Now, this could be a uh, serious accord. You noticed anything in particular that uh, caught your attention? Well, he has been making a lot of major deals lately. He's been very aggressive. Like what? Selling off a lot of stock behind my back, then using the money to have me go out and buy a lot of waterfront property. Waterfront? Hey. Where? You name it. Anywhere along the eastern seaboard. Is he working with anyone on this? I don't know. But you know, now you mentioned I, I walked in on something that was a little strange today. Uh, I assumed it was Alex. He was talking to you. It was some kinky thing that they got going, some little game. You know, they are, and once I realized that, I didn't want to know much more about it. Mm. What kind of game? I don't know. Uh, Again, I assumed it was Alex that he was talking to. He kept referring to her as Atlantis. And then he called himself Neptune. Are you sure you heard Asa call himself Neptune? Well, that's the kind of thing you forget. No, it isn't. Look, I, I don't know. I, I was assuming that he was talking to Alex. Come on, you know the kind of games that they play. But based on your reaction, my assumption was wrong, wasn't it? Did you ever hear him uh, call anyone else uh, Poseidon? No. Oh, what's going on? Uh, P Poseidon? Neptune? Atlantis? Ace has never been into mythology. No, no, and he's not into mythology right now, but he's definitely into something else. And you think he's going to be in some kind of trouble? Well, what are you doing now, Bo? Snooping around here? Oh, hello, Ace. Uh, you know something? 
Why don't you go back to headquarters, Commissioner? Or I'll call Alex and give you some work to do. See what, I'm gonna let you gentlemen work out these uh, family problems. I've got a meeting to get to. So let me know if you need anything else, huh? What, what is it with you, Bo? Are you following me? I've got a problem, Pa. See, I think your life may be in danger. Is that good enough reason to stop by here? What are you going on about? I am not in any danger. Well, it sounds to me like you're into some real, real serious business, and if you don't realize how serious it is, then you may be in more trouble than I even thought. And you know what I think? I think you're throwing back too many Irish whiskeys with your IRA fugitive friends. Thornhart isn't IRA. So you say. You sound like Alec getting carried away. Oh, why didn't I think of that? You spoke to Alex. She's got you all worked up over nothing. Whatever it is, Bo, it is nothing. This isn't just nothing. And you know it, Neptune. say that I know but you know the longer we take to face the truth the more difficult it's going to be oh honey I tried to tell you that it wouldn't work uh, getting back together again but you just wouldn't let yourself be convinced and of course I wanted desperately to be wrong so I let myself get swept away by the dreams of the way things used to be between us. And even though I knew what the outcome would be, I was willing to take the risk. Because it was worth it. Up to a point. Sweetheart, we've reached that point. So what do we do now? Oh. I can't keep up the charade any longer. Can you? We're just risking ruining the beautiful memories of the way things were between us. How wonderful it was. So this is the way you want it, for sure? For sure. Honestly, Oh, Joe, listen to me. I really think that this is best for both of us. on Capitz and on Sajorski and Slar, all right? There. Now, I also need you to file these motions for me. Got it, boss. Oh, don't call me boss. Anyway, you did a great job at the law library the other night. I really appreciate that. You were fast and you were accurate. But you know, if I have to choose between the two... I know. Accurate. Believe me, I didn't rush anything, and I won't. I knew I did the right thing hiring you. Um, I'll have it on your desk when you come in tomorrow morning. Really? Don't forget to sleep. No problem. You have that meeting with Judge Levinson, right? Uh, Jill told me not to let you be late. I know, I know. I'm going, I'm going. Thanks. Bye, Andy. Look, I, 
I'm sorry if what, what I said upset you. I was just trying to help. You thought telling my boss my problems would help. What, did you think Nora would want to contribute to the Antonia Vega charity fund? Stop it! Nora's not just some stranger on the street. She happens to be a friend of mine. Yeah, well, she's not a friend of mine, so I'd appreciate if you keep me out of your conversations. The last thing I need is pity from another Buchanan. One, Nora does not pity you. Two, you don't seem to need help from anybody. Is that right? Including me. Yeah. That is right. I got work to do. Thank you. Here. Look, you are totally off base about Joey and me, all right? Besides, don't you want to talk about more interesting things? Like how I am going to help you make a stunning appearance into the Landview social scene? Listen, I, I don't want to make a... I don't want to stun anybody with an entrance, okay? I cannot wait to see Bo's face the first time he sees you. It's going to be like the Liza Jesse Montel show. You know, when they try to reunite relatives from the past. Just like your dad. Hey, Kelly, listen, before you book us on Landview Live, I mean... Let me remind you, I'm not so sure that there's going to be a happy ending here. I mean, it's been a long time since me and my father have seen each other. We might as well be strangers. Drew, you are so totally wrong. Yeah, well, just how totally wrong am I? If you knew Bo Buchanan, you, you wouldn't be wasting your time like this. Come on, from what I hear, I mean, Bo's never failed at anything he's ever done. I mean, me, I'm, I'm not exactly blazing a, a shining career path for myself. I mean, I barely held a part-time job for more than two months in a row, and... I don't even want to talk about how I look. There you have nothing to worry about. Well, are you kidding? <laughs> I mean, I want to make an impression when I meet him, you know? I can't even buy a t-shirt, let alone a new wardrobe. All right. All right, I have a fabulous idea. What? Your cousin Joey has got a closet full of stunning, stylish threads. Okay, most of them with a the sales tag still on them. I, I bet we can find you something there. Kelly, listen, I'm not going to disrespect him like that. I mean, he you know, wait, wait, you're drill. going... Drew, Listen, he will not mind. You're going... You have major territorial rights when you go into a guy's closet. No! You don't understand. He's the nicest guy I've ever met. There! Now, there is no reason why you cannot stick around at least long enough to be reunited with your dad. Okay. <sighs> okay. Listen, I'm, I need to make a few phone calls back home and just let a friend know my plans, you know, so... But, hey, I, you know, I know Atlanta like the back of my hand, but, uh... Landview, I could use a tour. Ah. <sighs> I'd love to, but promise Cassie I babysit River today, remember? Well, next time and other times. No, take my car. Cruise around. You can't get lost in this town. Are Too you small. Yes. Are you serious? <laughs> Why not? What, you gonna steal my car and, and return to Hotlanta? No, oh, of course I'm serious. Thanks. You're welcome. I have one condition. What? What, is my firstborn? Oh, no, it's easier than that. I will promise I'll keep quiet about you. But the next time we bump into Bo, you have to promise not to chicken out. Don't act like an ornery kid, Pa. What kind of a business could you be involved in where you've got to use these saltwater code names like Neptune and Atlantis? Nothing. It's just a handle like, like truck drivers use. Smokey Joe, Highway Devil. Is your old friend Lord Cove, is he involved in this too? I want to tell you something. You have no right to be involved in his business, but but tell me this. Where the hell do you get your information? Hey, don't be bullheaded, Pa. There's some real, real bad stuff that's about to go down here. Why don't you at least tell me this? You know anything about a meeting with Neptune and Atlantis and a guy named Poseidon that's all set for March 1st of this year? Hmm? How do you know about that? Now we're getting somewhere. Yes, collect, please. Drew? Hey, thanks. Yeah, things are great. I hooked up with Cassie Carpenter just fine. She even paid my airfare. No, I haven't seen my dad yet. But so far, people are willing to take their shirts off their back for me. Yeah, especially when they hear Bobby Buchanan is my old man.
If there's anything you've missed, I'll just uh, send it along to the carriage house. Sorry, I'm sorry. Joe, there's nothing for you to be sorry for. I'll never forget. Anything. Anything about the time we spent together. I wish the prize could see a Leon coming to Javier Perez, because he needs a loan to buy that restaurant he wants so, so bad. Yeah, well, I haven't taken anything from you yet. Then what are you doing here, man? This is my turf. Well, I came to find out where the money's coming from. My boss? Who else? Your boss? R.J. Gannon? No. Uh-uh. I ain't taking nothing from R.J. Gannon. You got a choice? Yeah. I got a choice. See you real soon, Antonio. How the hell do you know about the meeting March 1st? Nobody knows that. Except the three players. Sorry, Pa. No, not true. There's an Irish terrorist group. They want to be there, too. Terrorists? What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about this meeting in March that you and your buddies are so anxious to keep a big secret. It's already a setting for an assassination. Oh, go away, Bo. No, I'm not fooling around, Pa. An assassination, okay? You're right in the middle of it. 